I believe this program truly is making a difference with over 6,000 individuals that just a few years ago did not have this training. We're now reaching people in places we never did before. And we hear the feedback from individuals, sometimes just days or weeks after they've taken the program, when they've encountered someone that maybe in the past, they would have questioned if there was a problem or maybe not even seen the problem. For me, it's an opportunity to bridge the gap between professional help and community resources. We know it's a highly underserved population and from my work I do in trauma and trauma recovery, we know that there's a gap between the professional resources available and the opportunities that our patients have. I am making a difference every day. I have an amazing partner going through every single workshop. We get to make connections with different people. We learn about their lives. We share our stories. And then when we leave here, there's always something that I take away from every single workshop and every single one of those connections. I took the mental health training because we had a situation in our family and I wanted to know more about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think everything we do for mental health is great. When we are having a physical problem, we seek physical a, a doctor. But there's so many stigmas about going to a mental health professional to seek any kind of help, and it's my desire that we just break that stigma. When you look at national, regional, local statistics and the stories in the news. As I say that right now, you are thinking about a person that either committed suicide, attempted suicide, they're a national figure, they're your neighbor or so forth. Um, and so we know the magnitude. We don't need the statistics, but we realize that um, our nation is in a place because of social media and the, and the lot that we are experiencing these challenges around mental illness. So it's, it's where we have to be. The Florida Department of Health in 2017 reported just in the city and the county of Duval that we had over 10,000 hospitalizations due to just mental illness. Now in 2018, they estimated the amount of adults with a serious mental health issue was 26,600 people. That's almost 27,000 people in our community alone. I think the takeaways from the class are that you will have the resources and the tools that you need in order to approach someone that you feel is having a mental health crisis. Uh, a lot of times we don't think of certain things to be mental health related. We have depression, we have anxiety, we have just stress as a whole. We have alcoholism, we have secret drug abuse. There are lots of things that we don't associate with mental health like we would bipolar or schizophrenia. And those things are properly addressed in this class so that the resources that they take out into the community, they can recognize those sorts of behaviors and possibly help. So when you approach the situation, you're able to focus on what we've taught and be able to save a life. To me, this is part of why I serve here at St. Vincent's Healthcare. Our mission calls us to care for the most vulnerable in our population. It reaches us and asks for us to provide holistic care, which is the body, mind, and spirit. And in through this program, we have a way to make our community more compassionate more open, more understanding of the individuals that may be struggling with addiction or struggling with mental illness, helping us to understand that these are our neighbors, these are our friends, these are folks we serve with each day. And when they reach out for help, to empower each of us to be ready to respond. There's nothing like being an instructor and being able to see your students make the connection or connect the dots after we finished a module or after we finished a case scenario. The students are encouraged to share either their own personal experience or having an experience with a family member or a peer or coworker. And um, whenever they make that connection or that light bulb goes off or the aha moment, um, it, you really can see that knowledge that we're teaching become knowledge into the, the person so that they can utilize that. 
I have had a few friends that I've encouraged professional help with their problems and because while we may be able to listen to them non-judgmentally, assess for risk of suicide or self-harm, we can't actually be the ones to help them where they might need help. It could be a chemical imbalance, it could be so many other things that might be wrong that a doctor can help them with better than we might be able to. For more information about this class, you can go to mentalhealthfirstaid.org, click on the Find a Class, and type in the area that you wish to take the class in. I just wanted to say how proud I am of my granddaughter for realizing that she needed help and to seek help. That's all we need to do and let's stop and break the stigma.